For Seattle, we were on the front lines of the battle as the epicenter of the epidemic. For several brutal weeks, the Seattle area was America's epicenter for coronavirus. Washington is desperate to get back to business, but the disease is still here. I think one of the most difficult things about it was there was no guidebook or playbook. We saw what happened in China. We were seeing what happened in Italy, but we didn't have any model in the United States. In Seattle, Washington Mayor Jenny Durkin, an early leader in responding to the coronavirus crisis, is harnessing local partnerships and taking an innovative approach to expand access to testing throughout the city. We consulted with all the experts we could. The answer was the same from everybody. You have to act immediately. We started scouring the nation and the world for our own testing capability. We were able to use contacts to actually source testing from South Korea and then made an arrangement with the University of Washington laboratory here, which is one of the best in the country, so that we were able to stand up our own testing capability. The first site in the country where first responders were testing other first responders, we then opened citywide testing facilities where everyone in the city could make an appointment and get tested for free. And we now do about 15% of the tests statewide. We had to combine what public health had with what some of the national leaders had. The Bloomberg connections that were made already between mayors themselves were a real asset in the fight against COVID. When it hit my city, I could pick up the phone and call mayors throughout the country because of the relationships that the Bloomberg organization had built. I think that the successes we had in our country were largely the result of having strong relationships between mayors and having that base of information and connectivity to the scientists.